Hey guys, I hope uh, digital learning is going well for you today. Uh, here on the back of the 3.3 note sheet is a concept called primary classification. It's an FBI system of getting people's fingerprints classified in a way that sort of puts them into a smaller category of people. And it is based on the number of whirl patterns that a person has on their 10 fingers. Some people don't have any whirls. Some people have all whirls. And most people have some sort of a mix of whirls and arches and loops and things like that. So I'm going to show you how this process works. It's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it. And uh, hopefully by the time I go through the three examples that I've pulled for you, it will make more sense. So the primary classification system is a pairing of fingers, different fingers, and you've written all this in on your note sheet, um, from the right hand to the left hand. And the right index and right thumb are the first two fingers that you're going to look at. If there is a whirl on either one of those two fingers, you're going to put a 16 into that spot on the fraction, which is down here. You're going to do this later, okay? If there is a finger, either the right ring or the right middle finger that has a whirl on it, you're going to plug in an 8 because that's the second pair. A 4 if it's on the left thumb or the right little, okay? Twos here for these two fingers and a one here for these two fingers. Okay, now my particular uh, fingerprints, I have three whirls, and those three whirls happen to be on the first two fingers that are here. So I have a whirl on my right index finger. There you go. And I have one on my right thumb. There it is. And I also have one on my right ring finger. And that's a. Uh, this one here, I promise I'm not flicking you off. <laughs> There's my right ring finger. And so those are my fingers that have whirls on them. Because I only have whirls on those three fingers, I am plugging in numbers into those spots, right? So 16s for the first pair, 8 for the second pair. Now my right middle does not have a whirl. Okay, so I'm putting in a zero, and none of my other fingers have whirls, so I put in zeros for all of those spots. Then it says here, uh, after values for all ten fingers are plugged in, then they're totaled, and a one is added to both the numerator and denominator, giving the primary classification. So for me, 16 plus 8 plus 1 adds up to 25 on the top, and 16 plus 1 on the bottom adds up to 17. So I am a member of the class of people known as 25 over 17, because I have three whirls on those three particular fingers, and none of my other fingers have whirls on them. Um, I don't know if you saw the little fun fact right there, but about 25% of the overall population does not have any whirls at all, right? So their primary classification would be 1 over over one. Okay, so now it's time to do your prints. So we're just going to scoot down here a little bit and where it says my prints, this is where you're going to put in your numbers for your particular set of fingerprints. Now, I will tell you right now, if you have no whirls at all on any of your fingers, what's going to go in every single one of these boxes? That's right, a zero. So you're going to have zeros all the way across the top and the bottom. Don't forget you do have the ones, so then your primary classification would be 1 over 1. And again, the fun fact, you're part of 25% of the population that has that. Now, I have actually prepared three example suspects, suspect A, B, and C, and we are going to together look at suspect A, B, and C's prints to see if we can figure out what their primary classification is. So, the prints on suspect A's sheet I've already labeled. I'm just going to give you a minute to look at all of these lovely prints. So on the left hand, so far no whirls. And on the right hand, uh-oh, no whirls at all. Right? So if that's the case, what are we plugging in on our sheet here? We are going to plug in, for suspect A, all zeros. So we're just going to go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the overall primary class classification would, of course, be 1 over 1. Moving on to suspect B. Suspect B, as you can see, has a mixture of loops and whirls. Okay, no arches on this particular one. So the two fingers on the left hand that have whirls are the index and the thumb. And then he's got several on this hand. We've got three on this hand. So the thumb 
and the ring finger and the pinky. Okay, so those positions are going to make us plug in certain numbers on those particular spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the fingers again and we're going to say is there a whirl in that particular spot going with the uh, fractions right up here of the pairing of the fingers going down. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to use purple for the whirls uh, to make them stand out and then red for anything that's not a whirl. Okay, so we're going to start with the first two fingers, right index and right thumb. Okay, so I'm going to put right there, right index and right thumb. So his right index is a loop and his right thumb is a whirl. So because the right index was a loop, I'm putting in a zero on the top. But his right thumb was a whirl, so I'm putting in the 16 on the bottom. Why 16? Because that's the number that the first fraction gets. Okay. Moving on, the right ring and right middle. So let's look at those two. The right ring finger is this one here, and the right middle is this one here. So the ring finger does have a whirl, that's the one on the top, but the one on the bottom, the right uh, middle finger, does not. So the one on the bottom is getting a zero because it was not a whirl, and the one on the top is getting an eight because it was. Okay, next up is left thumb and right little. All right, so there's the right little. It is a whirl, okay? So right little is gonna get a number, but the, what is it, left thumb? The left thumb, oh, also a whirl, okay? So that means both of those fingers need the number that goes there. What number goes there? Fours, so four and four. Okay, up next is left middle and left index left middle right there in the middle oh it's a loop and then what's the other one left index left index oh is a whirl okay so we have a loop and a whirl so the left index was the one with the whirl and the left middle was a loop so left middle excuse me is a loop getting a zero and the left index is getting a two because it was a whirl all right, and then the last one is going to be left little and left ring. So I'm gonna scoot all the way over here. Oh, both loops. So is either one getting the number? No. So we're gonna put in zero, zero. Okay, so now it's just a matter of adding it up. And don't forget these little ones on the end. Okay, so I have added it up and it's gonna be 13 on the top and 23 on the bottom. And then moving on to suspect C, suspect C. Has, looks like all whirls, except for just that one finger. And that is the right middle finger. So the right middle is indicated right there. So that's the only one that doesn't have a whirl. So the easiest way to do suspect C is just to put that zero in that spot and then, you know, fill in the numbers for all the other fingers which all had whirls. So that'd be 16 over 16, an eight here, two fours there, two twos there, one one, and then add it up and you end up with 32 over 24. So that would be suspect C's primary classification. So hopefully these examples have helped you and now you can use them as a guideline to do your own prints on your note sheet in this spot right here where it says my prints. This is where uh, I need you to do your prints. Uh, tell me what your primary classification is and then you're going to send me a picture of the back of this note sheet with that on it. That's one of your submissions today. All right, I hope this has helped. Thanks. Bye-bye.